The year is 2026 and AI is everywhere. I believe we have four years left before the AI takes over the entire world. So a group of me and my friends got together and decided we wanted to make our own island out in the middle of nowhere. We have four years to get this goal done and be self-sufficient or we'll fall to the corruption of the AI. Will we succeed? Will we fail? Find out in today's video. P.S. Thank you, G-Portal, for hosting. He may be an AI. He might not be an AI. Oh, when'd you get there? I've been here. So, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to express my concerns with you. So, you know, Yosho brought on another guy over there on his farm. Didn't tell none of us about it, right? He did? Yeah. Okay. So, so he brought in this whole new guy to the farm and just... I don't know. I feel like something's weird about it. I feel like something's weird about that too. You don't know. He could be. He could be an AI for all we know. Is he a robot? I never heard him talk. He might oh my be. God, he's a robot. He might be an AI robot. I mean, who knows? Oh my god. All right. I went ahead and went and got you another shipping container this morning. So your truck's ready to go. You go have fun doing that if you would like, or if you want me to do it, we can do that. I think Trendy's coming up with your machine right now to help you out with it. Perfect. Do you mind not breaking my trailer? I'm just showing you I fixed it. Let go of my trailer. Let go. I'll put my trailer. Don't you do. Drop the trailer. Drop the trailer. If you insist. You. You're paying for this. I ain't paying for nothing. You never paid me for fixing your other tractor. How much do I owe you? Ah, 500 bucks. Here's a grand. Get off my farm. Uh, I need a ride. Nope. Start walking. And a couple of thousand dollars later, we went ahead and picked up this nice little John Deere planter. This nice little John Deere planter right here is going to be perfect. And I mean perfect perfect for planting all the corn and soybeans and stuff like that i want to plant and this is definitely going to increase productivity on the farm now i will say ladies and gentlemen we do got one issue and matter at hand now uh, i want to hear y'all's opinion do you think we still keep that old combine that we had or do you think we sell it once it gets fixed and buy like a john deere or case or something like that i just want to hear what you guys honestly think down on the comment section down below that'd be appreciated thank you morning yosha Morning. How's it going, man? Oh, it's going great. Smells like money out here. Yeah, it does. I mean, I made quite a bit off of it yesterday, but man, does it stink. Oh, yeah, it does not smell good whatsoever. Well, I didn't see your... Oh, you had the tractor. That's why I didn't see that one. So I just grabbed your uh, your Fiat over here, and I was just going to use this and go go sell it for you. Okay, that's fine. What do you think about the new Fiat? I, I like it. It's got a lot of power. I mean, that's nice. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to head and lower this down to the ground. So first thing we're planting is some good old corn. And with this being our biggest field, we want to go ahead and plant this first. And we're definitely going to try to make our money back with this corn. So we just got done planting the cornfield and the bean field. So I'm going to go ahead and take the sprayer, unfold it, since we do have fertilizer still in it, and spray it real fast. So we're just going to go ahead and spray this field, get it knocked out so we can work on the next part of the day. Just possibly going to be looking at buying more land. I'm not 100% sure yet. Jenna may know more or have a plan for the money as well. All righty, and just like that, that is the last little bit of fertilizer that needed to be sprayed we'll raise this on up here 
and let that thing fold back up. We'll put it back in the shed. Honestly, we need to start thinking about building like an actual farm yard area because this shed right here is already not enough space. How much did I make? Well, I got $12,533. That's what my check is? Yeah, that's what your amount is. Oh, I thought that's what our amount together was. Oh, no, so no, no. It was like, it like 25000 is what it was. All right. Go ahead and uh, get that money transferred into my account. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get it transferred to your account. And uh, thanks for letting me uh, use your equipment. I mean, I appreciate it. All righty. While he's leaving, I'm going to go ahead and at least look at calling the neighbor and see if I can get that land up there bought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the land that's directly up words of patty's land and i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep this land right here beside mine because honestly it's the exact same amount of stuff on it yes this one has a little bit more trees in it than that one does but he ain't gonna complain that much all righty and just like that we have this new place right here bought so now we can start going ahead by the way it did cost eighty five thousand. so we can actually now start making a new field and we can start actually progressing a lot better a lot quicker now so we're just going to kind of open this up right here and I can kind of see us kind of leveling off all that over there making a little bit better of an area to put a farm. But for right now, I'm at least going to go ahead and open up a little bit better of a field. Alrighty, so right now we're currently cultivating away. It does seem like it's doing a pretty good job. I have had no issues out of her. We're kind of going a little bit of a fast pace right now just to really knock the soil up and get a nice good bubble back there. We don't want to go too slow because you won't get the best of oils. And it just, uh, it's doing okay. Alrighty, so we just got done with this field over here. Now that we're done with another field, we are going to let that one just rest. We're not going to really focus on getting too much more of that done. Uh, Jenna should be back getting her second final load done here. Uh, second load, we'll see if it's the final one. I doubt it though, knowing her. Alright, so I've been thinking about this for a little bit now. Now that we got everything currently going in the right steps right now, what we're going to do, we're going to build a chicken coop. Alongside of a chicken coop, we're also going to go ahead and start looking at what all the ingredients we'll need for the pasta. Don't forget, we're still doing the pasta. We're going to make our own brand of pasta. $20,000 and a lot of dirt moved. We now have the entire hill moved away, and this thing looks absolutely beautiful out here. We also went ahead and purchased this chicken coop with about 180 chickens in it and about one rooster. Somewhere around here, that's the luckiest rooster in the world, I guarantee you that. We still need to get some feed for them, so hopefully this will start producing some eggs after we get the feed necessary for these animals. But we also do got other situation going on here as well. We're running out of space. Uh, space is everything, and we're kind of out slash don't have any right now. So that either means we need to start moving everything out of here or either move everything out of here still and get rid of that and just completely build a whole new farm once we get enough money honestly one hundred and sixty thousand dollars, we probably could build ourselves a really nice big farm out here which may be the next route we kind of go down oh look at him finally get a tractor he's trying to become big boy like me i mean you know it's, we, we need something a little bit bigger because ruby just ain't gonna plow this oh no i, I know definitely i mean hey it, it's it's nice and pretty and white i don't know how long it's gonna stay white but hey oh uh, you live on a farm so maybe not long. Okay. And Spitzer's over there. He's working on uh, trying to get all the weeds out of the, the grapes. So that way we can keep them uh, nice and strong and healthy. So uh, so you need a so you need a flour mill as well. Yeah, that's what I'm, uh, we're going to be looking into that here a little bit. I mean, we just plowed the field. So, I mean, we still got a lot more work to go. The reason I'm saying anything is because I also need a mill to mill my grains as well. What's the point of having two that do the exact same job? I did not know that you were going to have a meal. What's pasta made out of? I don't know. Flour, egg, water. Oh, well, look at there. Well, yeah. All right. I guess I'm going to head back to the house and I think I'm going to call it for the day. Yeah, I think we're, we're getting close to. You have a good one. All right, you too. Hey, everybody, everybody. Is everybody on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Trinity? What's going on, Trinity? Everything is burning down. What? You mean like an everything bagel? Those things are delicious. How? I mean, don't oh, leave them in the toaster God. that long. I must say, I know everything's been a disaster here, but I don't think it's burning down disaster. My truck is on fire. My barn is on fire. You idiots, oh, get over fire. here. fire! A uh, roof. All right, we're on our way. Oh, my goodness. That is oh insane. That is a lot of, ooh. Trinity, what'd you no. do, man? Man, I was going buying stuff, and my toilet caught on fire, and my whole house no. caught on fire. I mean, your toilet? How, how, did, how did you come to the conclusion that your toilet is on fire? It is on fire fellas. right now. Look. Hey, 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 hey. What? At least I got the marshmallows this time. 